This is the main menu for Civilization 5. We're going to click Mods. Now this is the end user license agreement for mods. You have to agree to this every time. Now this is the main mod menu. If you click on Get Mods, this will open Steam Workshop where you can download any mod you want. I'm going to click Ethnic Units to start. And you just hit Subscribe. And you get this message saying that it has been added. Return to the game and wait for a moment while it catches up. It is now downloading the mod. Most mods are very quick. This is a somewhat large mod, so it will take some time for it to do the transfer. And it has several steps after this, but usually this process takes a few seconds. This mod will take a little longer. Right now it is installing the mod. This is the final step of the installation. The mod is now installed and it will be available in the list of mods as soon as it finishes the screen. Now I'm going to update some existing mods. You simply click the update button and wait. There's a little delay between sending the command to subscribe or update and the actual update. Now it's beginning the download for both of these. And as you can see, the Canadian mod was almost instant. This one takes a little longer. Now I'm going to activate a few mods. Africa map. And I already have the Ireland mod activated. And I'm going to activate Rohan, the Lord of the Rings Civ pack. Click next to activate the mods. And there's a slight pause while it loads the mods into memory. These are the mods that are active. And this is how you would get back to the main menu through the back button. We're going to look at this screen. This is telling you that a mod is unavailable because it requires DLC or an expansion pack. If you see that red text, you can't use the mod. Now this is the single player screen. We're going to set up a game and this just shows you that Rohan has been activated. Now King Theoden and the Rohan are available as a civilization in the game. Those are the unique features of the civilization. And we're going to look at the maps next. Africa is listed and Ireland will be listed below. Okay, click back if you want to go back to the main menu. Uh, you would start a game if you actually wanted to start. Now I'm disabling the mods. This is how you remove a mod. Now this mod is not compatible with my version of the game, so I'm removing it. When you do this, there's a delay. <clears throat> so you can see I will still see it listed, and I can even go back and unsubscribe again. 
It just takes it a second to catch up, and now it's going to disappear. And that is all there is to installing mods and removing mods using Steam Workshop.